as he inches closer to the restart zone and the green flag flies here at Pocono with the Nexus Motor City Trucks Travis Manning on the inside with Darren McCabe Nije Luna on the outside with uh, that is Dallas Seward right behind him. Matthew Wood making a little bit of a move there to the inside as Travis Manning leads coming down it through turns one. Darren McCabe all over his rear bumper now off of turn number one side by side for P2. It's EJ Luna, Darren McCabe, the 38 and the 16 helping these two drivers down into turn two. Darren McCabe getting to the rear bumper of the 81 now off of turn one. Dallas Seward made him maybe made a wall contact there. Here comes Darren McCabe to the inside of EJ Luna. Not going to make it happen. Now coming through turn two. Yeah, here it is in a turn two. This is not a very good passing place on this racetrack. Really difficult corners. Look at Dallas Seward. Maybe a little tight off the corner. Matthew Wood looking to the inside now as we're going to head to turn three. Here it is. Side by side. Door to door. Wheel to wheel action. Matthew Wood sends it in on the bottom. He's going to make the move on Dallas Seward and clear him off of turn three. What a great move there by the 16. Dallas gets sideways off of turn three. He keeps it straight across the line. Dallas Seward trying to make a move back to the inside of the 16. And we've got a caution. Now hitting there the exit of the corner. He's got a little bit of loosey goosey there. Oh, almost pulled a Kyle Larson. Got lucky there. Manning is an inch closer to the restart zone. And the green flag flies once again here at Pocono. Travis Manning getting a great restart there over EJ Luna. Darren McCain going side by side with EJ Luna now as they look on down to coming into turn one. Matthew Wood behind both of these drivers looking to make a move here through turns one and two. The 66 shoves it deep. He gets in front of the 81. A slide job. A crossover by EJ Luna as they come off at turn one. Down the straightaway here. No. It's not going to work. Darren McCain trying to get the draft from the 28 as they come down the straightaway and into turn two. Here comes Matthew Wood. Here it is. Matthew Wood to the inside. He's seeing the gamesmanship early. Travis May trying to break the draft, but look at that move by Matthew Wood. Up to P3. Gets by EJ Luna. Here it is to the inside into turn two. Not a very good passing zone, but we're going to see Austin Brooks trying to make it happen. To the inside of Collier, still side by side. Oh, we got guys loosey goosey there off of turn two. Here it is, a little bit of side by side drag race down this straightaway, down into turn three. Austin Burke's got the preferred position to the inside. Collier backs his corner up. Can he pull a crossover off of turn number three? We're still side by side. Javon gets tight. Can he hang on to it? He does. And we're still dragging down the front straight. Drag race for P6 now. Austin Brooks, Rob Collier, the O2 on the inside. He's looking to take that position back away from the 33. The 33 is having a resurgence on the outside as he gets the outside lane now. Diving down into turn one. Still side by side now for P6. as the 33. He's going to get the run from the top side. Down this straightaway off the exit of turn one. He's going to clear Rob. Uh, the singleton machine up there on the outside. Oh, really? oh we got a car in the wall. It's McCabe. Oh, it's McCabe out of the P2 position. Tragic moments here in this race for Darren McCabe. Made slight contact with the outside wall, but oh, man. Ooh. Look at that hit. Yeah, what did Lyle say after after Chicago? A little PTSD after those turn six wall. I mean, those those tire barriers, or those water barrels, a little PTSD <laughs> after what they've seen so far today. Look at this. Oh. Big contact. Oh, man. Spin it like a top. That's a quick repair. Surface control to Dallas Seward now. Inch closer to the restart zone. And he gets the green flag here at Pocono. Travis Manning not getting as good of a restart as Dallas Seward as they come down the front straightaway. It looks like uh, Dallas Seward's going to hold on to that P1. But here comes to Travis Manning to the inside of the 38 now. Down into turn one. EJ Luna looking to take a three wide. Not going to make it happen. Dallas Seward dropping like an anchor just a little bit here. As he comes off a turn one, he smacks the wall. Here comes everybody else. Three wide, fanning out four wide. Down the straightaway off a of turn one. One, looking to come down into turn two now. Oh, look at Austin Brooks. Four wide action down into the tunnel turn. Holy cow.
out, and they make it happen. Oh, Austin Brooks gets sideways there. He was not able to hold the inside. Here comes Matthew Wood to the inside, side by side with Austin Brooks now. Now let's see we're fighting back on the inside. Into turn three, Matthew Wood sends it in on the bottom. He might be able to clear the entire field here off at turn number three. Austin Brooks gonna fight back off a of three. Maybe this would be in their best interest if they can lock bumpers here and push down the straightaways. If we can maybe close this gap back down to Travis Manning as he continues to extend it. 1.04 seconds. Oh, we got lots of wall contact. Oh, big contact in the wall. Dallas is there. Is that Javon? Oh, big time contact by Javon. We see everybody fan out. Do we stay green here? It looks like Javon might be big broke though. No, he gets it rolling. We're still rolling here. Dallas with some big damage. Back down into turn one. Dallas. The yellow flag is out. Turn two. Big contact with the outside wall. Same with EJ Luna. Eats the inside barrier there. And it looks like he's going to be out of the race. He's going to lower. He already took his to repair. It looks like the 66 not going to be able to come back out on track. It's too closer to the restart zone. The 28 looking to restart the field, and the green flag flies. Travis Manning once again getting a great restart here versus everybody else out in the field. Austin Brooks putting on a valiant effort on the outside there. As you can see them all traveling down into turn one. The 28 clears the 33, but here comes the 95. Isaac Singleton to the inside of the 33. The 81 of AJ Luna trying to make a move there as the 33 gets a great run off of turn one. Oh, AJ's in the wall. That's Rob Collier on the wall. Scenarius Days, Steven Towton. They're all in the wall, and we're looking three wide back here. The 02, the 74, the 16 into turn two. Yeah, here it is. Singleton finally getting to the inside into turn number one here. Can he make it happen? Luna's going to fight hard on the outside, but Singleton's going to clear him here. Luna maybe set up a crossover here off of turn number one. It looks like always oh, sideways. He's not going to stay to the inside of the 95 of Singleton. As you see Manning breaking the draft there. Brooks has chased him down to the apron there. That's impressive. <laughs> As Manning has knows his competition is right there behind him now with Austin Brooks through the tunnel turn. That is going to be some tough person or tough opposition to keep behind you here as he's got it down to four tenths of a second as we head to turn number three yeah we're seeing a little bit of separation here as franklin he's gonna try and make it happen to the inside of rob he's sideways oh rob shows a lot of respect oh we got a car in the wall was that ferrara no it's luna luna big news Where's rob gonna go he had a break he almost ran in the back of luna there unbelievable what happened to luna at the moment ej luna getting back to his rear bumper uh, as we speak, that 84 real fast, a great recovery tour for the 84. Oh, the 81's around, off at turn three, he's gonna go sideways, the yellow flag is out, and the 81, oh, ho, ho, almost on pit road, did he save it? Control to Brad Aldane, and the green flag flies, the 29 gets a great restart here at Pocono, 15 laps to go. Around the tricky triangle. Travis Manning already looking to the inside of Dallas Seward. Here comes Austin Brooks. Three wide down into turn one. Where does Dallas Seward go? Nowhere for him. Here's Brad Haldane. He's already got these guys right behind him. The 33 trying to make a move on the 28 already off of turn one. We're three wide for the lead of this race now. As they look down into turn two. Who's going to make it there first? Travis Manning on the inside. He's going to try to make that run work as they dive on down into turn two. To Austin Brooks leeches ahead here, but here comes Travis Manning off a of turn two, and we're wrecking oh, in the back. Serious days is around. Oh man, I was about to say it looks like an LA traffic jam. They're off the tunnel turn. Holy cow! Of Austin Brooks green as the flag, now flag. green flag flies here at Pocono. Eleven laps to go to decide our winner. Austin Brooks gets a great restart there. Matthew Wood looking to the inside of Travis Manning now down the front straightaway and into turn one it looks like Travis Manning's going to clear the 16 now as they dive on down into turn one here the 33 ripping the boards on the outside as they go through turn one the 28 the 33 side by side now off the exit of turn one and it looks like the 33 might grab a little bit oh Dallas Seward's around we've got big happenings oh, back here gonna bring out the yellow yep big wreck down the back straight of long pond that look that that looked big I can't believe less trucks were involved in that one there Tom uh, that's just racing, baby. Yeah, it looked like Dallas might have got a little tight. It looked like Rob had a pretty good run there. It looked like, yeah, it's a racing deal, man. I don't, I, there's no, nothing either of those drivers could have done. It's just, it's go time. And 
you gotta go and if you have a little bit of an issue with the car good job by bill daniels though look at this just a little kiss to the wall there and the green flag flies for three two laps to go here at pocono the 33 getting a great jump over travis manning once again on that restart matthew wood getting a little bit of help by dustin franklin as they barrel on down into turn one the 68 is going to get to the inside of the 28 that's not what travis manning needed he wanted to get down low the 68 now side by side with the 33 off at turn one but the 33 prevails the 74 is around the o2 is up oh in the God. air what a wreck Rob what Collier, huge inside wall contact. Parts are flying everywhere. Between the 74 and the 02, looks like the 74 just shot straight out of turn two. Made big contact with the 95. Look at the 02, my goodness. Looking up at the sky there. They're both going to come to the inside wall, make huge contact there between these two drivers. The 02 getting all four wheels off the ground after contact with the inside wall. The they inch closer to the restart zone, and the green flag flies for attempt number two here tonight with the Motor City Trucks at Pocono. Austin Brooks not getting as good of a restart as what he wanted. Travis Manning hot on his tail as they all sail on down into turn one. Where does Travis Manning go? He's going to dive in deep down into turn one, side by side for the lead here. The 28, he's going to try to clear the 33 off of turn one. He does it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the 33 back to the outside. No, the 28 fends them off. What a battle. They're still battling it out now down into turn two. He's blocking his Manning down here into the tunnel turn here tonight with two laps to go. And we're still side by side. Look at Brooks to the outside. He, what an aggressive move to stay side by side to the tunnel turn. We're going to continue side by side down here into turn three. As Singleton's ripping the boards now. Matthew Woods seeking for position. Here it is off of turn number three. It looks like Manning might be able to clear. And there's the yellow flag once again. He comes on down. Oh, the 81 got into the rear of the 93. Leading the field to green here. The green flag flies. Travis Manning getting a great jump here as Austin Brooks goes side by side with Matthew Wood. Now down the front straightaway. Matthew Wood getting a little bit of a draft help there from the 28. But now the 33 grabbing a little bit of an advantage here. Now through turn one. A little bit of door contact there as they go down into turn one. Matthew Wood gets around him. The 16. He drifts high. Austin Brooks looking back down to the inside. And the yellow flag's out. There it is. Oh, that's big contact. Who is that? Is that the 42 of Ferrara? It is. Is this it? Is this official though? Do we only have three attempts or are we unlimited here tonight? It's not changing to three to go here, Tom. I think this could be it right here. This could be it for sure. Your race winner here, it is Travis Manning. Travis, this is Thomas and Jay in the booth. You got a copy? Gotcha, guys. Man, what a show you guys put on tonight. We saw some great battlings between yourself, Matthew Wood, Austin Brooks, Darren McCabe up there as well uh, with Isaac Singleton. You guys put on an absolute show. But the 28 coming out on top from pull to checker flag and a masterclass drive for yourself. Talk to us a little bit. What was going through your head there with those cautions I was playing out at the end of the race? Because at one point you found yourself in P3. Yeah, um, I was not getting good restarts. Austin was timing those starts real well. Um, and then I was able to crawl back up to second. Another caution came out. So at that point, it was try to try to time them out a little bit and see if I could get a good start. Um, I got a good enough one, got in the draft a little bit, um, and just buried into turn one and hope, hope it stuck. And, uh, yeah, luckily it stuck there. And, uh, and from there, it was just cautions, cautions, and it just kind of backed into that one with that one move. Um, but you know, 28 genome services, uh, Nitro Ford was very, very quick tonight. Uh, it was a shame we saw all those cautions because I think Austin and I had a good race fixing up there. But, um, you know, you got to take them whenever you can get them, and we'll take it, and we'll keep on moving forward. Absolutely. We saw that 28 again on pull starting the race and uh, out front the whole race. Some massive speed out of that 28. A good battle you had going there with the 33. Uh, towards the end of this race with some cautions kind of uh flip that on its head because that ladies and gentlemen is how the cookie crumbles <laughs> yeah, now you see that you got it you got it there we go all right travis congratulations on your win here tonight i'm gonna hand you off to jay jay what do you got for travis on his race win 
Yes, Travis, that was an awesome race. I enjoyed that thoroughly from start to finish. Uh, the different strategies playing out as well. Like early on, we saw a lot of guys diving out pit road, trying to maybe play a little different strategy, knowing that they didn't have the track position. And you did a fantastic job dominating this race earlier. I guess, well, like, kind of just controlling the pace there early and doing what you needed to do. And then you lost the track position. You fought back. That was a, It was incredible to watch. That movie made into turn one was masterclass. I was impressed watching that happen. And, and you get the job done. Who do you have to thank for this amazing performance here tonight, Travis? Uh, big shout out to uh, Nitro Racing, uh, Dan in uh, particular. Dan and I worked pretty hard on this truck and uh, glad to see it paid off for us. Uh, GM Services on the hood tonight, Bruising Cues, you guys, SK, everyone. Uh, great, great racing with Austin, as always. I love racing with them. Uh, wish we could have duked that one out a little bit more, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have more races coming up. And, uh, you know, Bob, him and I are, I'm sure we're not done with each other. <laughs> <laughs> Are you running next week in Montreal there, Travis? Uh, I don't think so. I got lucky tonight because um, my, my commitments that I have on Wednesdays, I didn't have to go to tonight. It was the daughter's second birthday, and she was in bed by the time it was race time. So it was uh, it was it it just worked out for me tonight. But in the next couple of weeks, definitely more. Uh, I think my, uh, about in the last month or so of this commitment. So we'll, we're almost done. All right, so hopefully a little bit more of uh, Travis Manning and this Nexus Motor City Trucks. We're excited, Travis, to have you back out on out here on track. Congratulations on your P1 finish tonight, and we hope to see you uh, probably within a month, right? Yeah, month? yep, <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sounds good, guys. Thank you. All right, later. <laughs>